Are, are you helping me? Are you going to get it all fixed back up, bud? Riley? Yeah. Okay. Check it out right there. Yeah. Woo. We hear it a long, long way to go. We like to start our mornings out with a bang. So just a quick little wake up this morning for us. We live here in Southeast Texas, as some of you may know, some of you may not, but uh, anyway, we had some bad storm. We had a front come through and it was pushing uh, 60, 70 plus mile an hour winds. And uh, about midnight, we got woke up with a bang and sparks flying around outside and power went out and we was like, oh, okay, well, whatever, a big deal. But no, it really was a big deal. Uh, this is what we started our morning out with right here we have some big old oak trees here sorry about the wind it is still whipping across here right now but anyway a uh, tree fell right across the power lines snapped our meter pole off snapped all the power lines off uh, electricity company left here a little bit ago and got us all disconnected but we still have telephone, and uh, which we don't use anymore, right? Nobody uses the telephone. And, uh, of course, our, our slow-speed internet, if you know, you know. We have terrible, terrible internet where we live, uh, like to the tune of uh, 25 down, 3 up. So you can feel the pain of us video people that like to upload. But this is what we started our morning out with here. We've been up since about midnight trying to get the electricity situated where we could get everything disconnected. Our, our power company is really good. I mean, they showed up, you know, I mean, there's a lot of storm damage around here, but they showed up really quickly and got it all disconnected for us. And we're not trapped in here by no means. There are, there are plenty of ways in here and out of here from our house, but still, man, what a mess to clean up. We're going to get a hold of the... The county agent here in a little bit and see if they'll send somebody out to help us get the tree cleaned up the tree is not actually on our property it's on somebody else's property it just this is the way the winds are blowing and happened to fall directly towards us and bam snapped our power cable right out the main power pole here does belong to the power company though so they came out and disconnected all the wire that comes to this but from here down over to where our meter box is so all of this cabling and wiring and stuff over to our meter box actually belongs to us. That's just the way they do it here. And so I'm responsible for buying a new pole and, you know, they give you the specs and codes on how tall everything has to be and your weather head and your meter and everything has to be so high off the ground and the conduit that goes into it. So anyway, we're going to get it all, all fixed back up, but. Like I say here, the long, long way to go. We always like to start our mornings out with a bang. So we are a okay. Thanks everybody that has already reached out to us, <laughs> uh, Facebook and stuff like that. But house is fine. Nothing's damaged. We have a crap ton of limbs down everywhere and just a big old tree. But that's it, guys. We are safe and sound. Thanks to all y'all guys for asking. We're gonna get some electricity hooked back up here. Once we put the new pole in, I have to call for an inspector. They have to come out and make sure it's all meets the code and blah, 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 blah. And then they'll get somebody out like ASAP to hook the cable back up to it. But that's it for now. A little quick update. Storm damages here in Southeast Texas. It was a fun start to the morning. Well, we got the new pole up. <clears throat> we just took all the existing hardware off and transferred over to a new pole. Would you guys believe they want almost, they want a thousand dollars. A thousand dollars for one of those. But anyways, Power company's back out here. Well, we got our new uh, our new meter pole put in. 
man, that was a long day, but uh, it all started out at midnight. I don't know if I've mentioned that before, but anyway, it's it's uh, almost seven o'clock now <laughs> at night, and uh, you can see our power company. They're they're really good folks. I mean, they said, hey, as soon as you get your house back up, uh, get your pole back up, and anything, call us. We'll come get your your electricity hooked back up to your house and uh, get you right back going. So we called them about 30 minutes ago. They're already here. They're running all new wire. I'm not even gonna worry about the tree. Uh, we'll, we'll deal with that later. Like I say, that's not the only way in here. I got I can go out down here also. So I kind of like the tree being in the road to tell you all the truth because it keeps people from driving in front of our house. <laughs> and uh, anyways, that was a little bit of excitement this morning there in Southeast Texas. Some, uh, I don't know, they said we had 70 mile an hour gusts, but I believe it since it knocked the tree down. But as you can see, they're up there getting some new wiring. Thank you, Sam Houston Electric. That's our local uh, electric co-op. They are fixing to get us right back in service and we will be good to go again. See y'all down the road somewhere. Uh, this was definitely a little bit different video than what we normally show, but <laughs> we appreciate y'all watching. And uh, by the way, thank you for all the, the, the encouraging comments and stuff through Facebook and, and messaging us today, making sure we're all right. And absolutely nothing happened to the house. I mean, there was no, nothing to the house. It was purely all electrical so anyway we'll see you guys later thanks for watching see y'all